But how do I get there? I don't know how to... Do I need to go this way? I guess I do. So I guess I do need the elevators. Oh, they're gonna say something about me getting, like, some kind of ID. Where am I? Oh, I'm down there. But yeah, this city looks pretty, uh, amazing. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. I have no... I never actually completed that game. I should do that. I know I don't want to play the, the, the remake. The remake will probably not come out for the PC anyway. But I don't know. I... I... I think that all those HD remakes are completely bullshit. I mean, a game is a good game if it's it's it's, it's, it's the game. The, the thing that makes a great game great is the gameplay, not the graphics. So, I don't know. I think it's stupid. Uh, uh, can I not go there? Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going, little lady? Little lady, where you? Go? Well, that was weird. Uh, it's a cop. It's a police officer. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is one of the smallest cross-level elevators I've seen. The big ones can carry up to 100 people at a time, and they go way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. Hmm. Let's go. I'm probably gonna stop me say, "Hey, you can't do that." Hold it. Uh. You're not taking this elevator. Well, why not? Uh, let me through, it's an emergency. But I have to get up there. Let's just ask why. Why? Because you're not carrying proper identification. Oh. Didn't you know that's a corporate offense in Newport? In Venice, you don't have to. I see. Venice. I should have known. That's not supposed Step to back be. back or I'll be forced to take you down with extreme prejudice. What? Uh... How do I get permission? How do I get permission to go through? Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city or you know that. Yeah, I uh, guess. Yeah, fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. What? Hey, watch it. <laughs> Rude. How do you get mid-level status? Birth? Money, marriage. Schmucks like you and me, miss. <laughs> We're stuck here. So I just speak for yourself, schmuck. So I just need to be born. That's what he said. Birth. I'm born. So yeah, I guess that's not how it works. What's up with the cops? What's up with the cops in this city? I'm sorry? I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights, and then you sell them products. <laughs> it's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bokemba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. They oh pay my our God. bills. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. <laughs> Notice when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. Oh my god. I have kids, and I'd like to see them through college. Thanks, officer. We're here to protect, serve, and to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. <laughs> what? Soft drinks and handguns? Yeah, why not? Oh, the, the 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 scary thing is, I could see this happening. I really could. So how do I get an ID? Hmm. So I need an ID. Metro Circle. That's right, Metro Circle. But is this really? That is the way there. Yeah, it seems. Or is there somewhere else I can go? East Gateway. Oh, wait. What? I don't get it. Is this the, the sign? Is that where I'm supposed to go? That's a little odd. Why would I think about it there being a location up on the sign? That's the metro sign. Is it behind the sign? That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of weird. That's a little. Uh, Okay, so is this the place? What do we have here? Is that a prostitute? It's a 
bum. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at oh. least he's not doing anything. Uh, got a customer. Let's see what happened. Oh, uh, should we follow them? See see what uh what they go what they did what they do? He's gonna <laughs> Some guys fighting. Dealer. Ooh, we can buy some drugs. What's this? Liquor store? Oh, yeah, we're we're definitely following these. Are they going to the subway? Never mind. Let's just uh, let's leave them to it. That's a Popular club. place. Not my crowd, though. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. <laughs> Let's see, liquor store. I don't drink, but I bet my character no. I don't think does she drink? I don't know. Did we talk about that earlier? If she drinks or not? I can't remember. She actually doesn't strike me as a heavy drinker. It's a liquor store. Or by heavy drinker, I, I mean as a, a person who goes uh, clubbing and drinking. I don't mean alcoholic. She doesn't strike me as an alcoholic either, but, you know. Uh, fat guy. Wow, that was mean. This guy looks like he works at the theater. Oh, a poster. Let's look at the poster. Oh. The Maltese Falcon. I've seen that oh, one. yeah. I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who, um, goes looking for a black cauldron. It, it's got singing mice in it, I think. Uh, I mean, don't they all? No, that's a uh, wrong movie. Casablanca. That's with John Wayne and Catherine Hepburn, I think. They play a married couple who adopt a baby leopard during World War II. It's a timeless classic. I don't think bringing a baby is with John Wayne. Uh, both of these, I've seen both of them, and that was not the storyline for either of them. I a love. Welsh ghost story, written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that. It's a classic. I don't know that one. But yeah, the Maltese Falcon, I love that. Casablanca is a classic, but I think it's a bit overrated. I mean, not that it's not good. It's still a great movie, but not as great as it's made out to be. I prefer the Maltese Falcon. Both of them are starring Humphrey Bogart, and if I should choose any of these, it's definitely the Maltese Falcon. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno, but I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. A as long as they speak French, it, it can't be smart. Women in need of the, uh, the need of medical attention. Is that a real movie? I have to look that up. That can't be a real movie. The box office is closed. Hmm. Notice. Oh, hello. Bergman Festival at the Mercury Theater opens August first, twenty two oh nine. Bergman. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. I've seen... I think I've seen two Ingmar Bergman movies. Wait, is it Ingrid Bergman or Ing Ingmar Bergman? It's probably Ingmar Bergman. Yeah, I like his movies. He makes great movies. Let's talk to the fat guy. Excuse me. Yes, um. Yes, um. Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis, light up! <laughs> Good. Okay. Now stay that way, you hear? I think this place has seen better days. Uh, do you work at the theater? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon. She owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. Okay. She owns it, and she'd be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. Okay. And what do you do, sir? Not the brightest guy. Though. I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. Uh huh. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that. Uh huh. 
<laughs> okay. Is the theater open now? No. I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Hmm. Suspicious. You know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh huh? You just do But that. I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. <gasps> You said you didn't know Cortez. Ah. I, I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So, so I tell you what. I'd mighty appreciate it if, if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Yeah. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world Wait, what? wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph? Yeah, some I'll tell you what, <laughs> you go on now and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P-I-S-T off. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I love that. Oh, trash can. Just trash. Just trash. Oh, what the? Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now you hear leave it be keep playing with it i haven't touched it until now oh what the hell green ooze yeah can i take some uh, do i want to take some <laughs> smells like kerosene and oh i can't remember what kerosene is Hmm. Look at this that guy. guy's so conspicuous. He's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Let's talk to him. Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Nope. She never mentioned anything. Yeah. She, no. she never mentioned anything about that. She should have. Now get lost. Uh. Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. What? You better not. I'm gonna talk to this guy again. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? Nope. What is it now? Uh, why are you dressed like a cop? Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second, what's it to you? <laughs> Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop, so if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat... It sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second, what am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The <laughs> NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. <gasps> Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. Jesus. I like the humor in this game. Let's do the last one. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? What is it now? Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? 
That's right. That cool cow. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. Okay. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. That doesn't sound healthy. And you had this when? Well, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. <laughs> the burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream chocolate sauce and a scoop of ice cream. Holy shit. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Hey, get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. Yeah. Stop threatening me. A very me. serious one, ma'am. Oh, God. So he has the... He wants sweets. I have this it's a fuse box. thing. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. Let's open it. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That city property, ma'am. So we have to get him out of the way. I'm guessing we need to give him the, uh, the, the suite. Oh, we can go in here. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. Let's go in there, then. Maybe we can get in through there. Although I do believe that these two has something to do with it. It's locked. Oh. Can I climb? No, I can't. Okay, let's try giving him the, um, the candy. There you go. Have some candy. Or do I need to do something with them first? Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. Don't you litter my floor, mister. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Should I give him another candy? Care for another? Hey, sure. Forget about it. <laughs> Don't you litter my floor, mister. Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. So Don't you litter my floor, mister. I'm feeling... Care for another? Hey, sure, nah, forget this, about it. This goes nowhere. Don't you litter my floor, mister. What if I dip the candy in this? Maybe... Does that do anything? I guess it did. And then we give it to him. Sticky candy. Here you go. Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. So, this will probably do something. What the hell? The taste! Sickening! I feel kinda... Christ! You feel kinda Christ? That's a... Uh... Maybe your baby, maybe your hey, baby what, Joseph. What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now I tell you what. What? You shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. Wait, who threw a rock at somebody? Did he throw a rock at him? When did that happen? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Did he? When did when did anybody throw a rock? <laughs> you should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while <laughs> okay that was a bit confusing to be honest did he lose his hat can we pick up his hat is his hat around here I'm, I'm gonna go check if his hat is there maybe he did but, 
Yeah, I don't didn't see anybody throw a rock. I might have missed that. Oh, is that is here? Nice. Let's take it. Oh shit. It's that detective guy's hat. He must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon. Freddie Mellon. Let's pick it up. Maybe we can wear it. All right. Hey, did I get a diary option? No, I don't know why I thought I did that. Okay. I guess now we can take a look at the uh, electrical thing. <laughs> 